YouTube, um, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry I haven't made a video in quite a few days. I have been really, really busy with work and running our own business. It's, it takes quite a lot out of you. Um, so I, ha I was supposed to have a list with me here today, but I accidentally lost it because I have already filmed this video and then when it came to uploading it, it was too long. So... I already biffed the letter, or the, um, the notes I had, so it's not going to work out. <laughs> so anyway, um, roughly along the lines of what I want to talk about today, basically, is um, someone emailed me and asked me about the side effects you get after a transplant, kidney transplant. Um, the main side effects you get from the transplant is... Not so much the actual surgery, but more the medication you're taking. So yeah, the surgery itself, um, you get overloaded. Just be prepared for this if you do get a transplant. You get overloaded with, um, with water or fluid. So when I was discharged, they overloaded me with um, 5 kilos. <laughs> Or five liters of water which equates to five kilograms so that night when I got discharged when I was at home my bedroom was like right next to the bathroom you have to do that your bedroom has to be next to the bathroom um, yeah it, it that night I lost like three or four kilos just water weight because you the kidney the transplant kidney needs that to kick start and keep going so they'll tell you that you need to drink as much water as possible and from the transplant your fluid intake or daily fluid intake will increase. Uh, mine at the moment is three and a half litres a day so <laughs> I have to drink like a fish basically <laughs> which is hard to do um, when you know before the transplant they tell you when you're on dialysis you can't drink any more than like a litre or a litre and a half of water. It's just silly. Yeah, it's really hard, <laughs> but that's the surgery side of things. You also just, you know, it's, it's quite sore, you're, you're hunched over for a while, but that goes away, <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, the other thing, the other side effects you get are from the medication, so today I want to show you guys my medication. Now bear in mind, when you are discharged from hospital after a kidney transplant, you are on so many medications, it's ridiculous. Literally, I had a cabinet, a bedside cabinet. The whole thing was just medication. No joke. Like, inside the cupboards in the drawer, on top, was just medication. It's ridiculous. And now I'm considered to be on, like, not that much. I'm one of the patients that don't have to take that, that much medication, so... I'm lucky, but you guys might still think this is quite a lot. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't like swallowing pills, you might not want to watch this. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm just going to start off with the first the first one. Um, that is the Elevit, which is a pregnancy supplement, um, which I take. And they look like this. The big yellow capsules. Um, they're not very nice to swallow. They're really big. So... Mm. But I do swallow them all at once with all my other pills. So I'm a good pill swallower. Uh, the other one I take is nifedipine. Now this is um, blood pressure medication. This is safe for pregnancy. I was on different. I was on a um, a beta blocker, which is not safe for, for pregnancy. So they put me on this one, which is, and I've been on this one for like four or five months now. So. Is good. I am on a steroid. Um, so anyway, I take one of these a day. I'm on a steroid called prednisone. Um, it's immunosuppression and the side effect you get with this is increased appetite and weight gain. And also your body shape can change like, like my face. For example, I'll, I'll give you an example of my face. Straight after the transplant, my face was round. It was really, really round because of the prednisone. You are discharged with around about 30 milligrams of prednisone. 
and that makes you really hyperactive and you know oh, I really want to run right now sort of thing it gives you so much energy and it increases your appetite so for if you are on prednisone please do watch your diet um, it it makes you gain weight and it can be really bad for developing diabetes so it was really hard I'm on 7.5 now which is maintenance levels so yeah be prepared for prednisone the other one I'm on is azathioprine these, I take three of these a day I take three of these a day um, I'm on azathioprine this is not one you normally get discharged with you either get discharged with or you do get discharged with mycophenolate um, which is another immunosuppression suppressant one but the mycophenolate is not safe for pregnancy and this one is so I got changed to this one not very many people are on Imuran which is the other name for azathioprine um, so I take three, three of those a day and then this is the main one this is tacrolimus or also known as Prograf and I take six of these tablets a day which are the one milligram tablets so I take six milligrams a day Yep, the little white capsules and yeah, they, for me, they don't really have any side effects. It dif differs from per person to person. Um, they, you'll either be discharged with these or, um, what's it called? It starts with a C, but this one, the women always have because the other one makes your hair grow insane. Women get beards, they get moustaches, they get um, hair all over their hands and their arms. It just goes, your hair goes nuts. That's why I chose this one. I didn't want facial hair. So yeah, this is for women. The other one is better and it's for men. So you get a choice, which is great. So yeah, that's my medication. In total, I take about 15 tablets a day. That's all of those combined that I just showed you in one day. 15 tablets. That's a lot. Okay, I really want to make this video like under 10 minutes because um, otherwise it will not upload. So the other thing I want to show you guys are my tests. My pregnancy test and ovulation test that came. They came in this bag from Australia. Kangaroo. And they are only $27. New Zealand dollars for 40 for zero tests 27 New Zealand dollars and the pregnancy test pick up HCG at 10 which is amazing because most of our pregnancy tests that we buy on the pharmacy sorry from the pharmacy and from supermarkets these days pick it up at around about 15 to 25 these pick it up at 10 and you get 20 of them so oh, I just think that's primo I've been taking the ovulation test, no no positive yet because I do ovulate, I do have like another couple of days before I ovulate. I'm on cycle day 13 today. So yeah, I'll show you guys. So that's the pregnancy one. They come in these little sachets, they're really really small, they're like this big, no I'm lying, about this big. Um, and this is the ovulation one. And they come with pamphlets and it tells you how to do everything. I'm going to put a link down below so that if you want to order some you can go right ahead they're amazing you can get international shipping um, although it just costs to ship them whereas for me the shipping was free because I live in New Zealand and shipping within Australia and New Zealand is free so check it out I think it's primo man $27 for 40 tests that's great that's just about it. Um, so yeah, anyway, today is cycle day 13. I am close to ovulation. I'm probably like, yeah, two days away. I probably will ovulate in the next couple of days. I'm going to take another ovulation test, test when I finish this video. So yeah, this video is getting long now and I don't want it to tell me that I can't upload it again. So um, have a great day. Thank you to the subscribers. I am so, so happy. Thank you guys. You are amazing. I'm so happy I got some subscribers. And yeah, thank you to Chantel on, from Chantel's Journey. Thanks, thanks for the nice message you sent me. That's so cute. Your daughter is absolutely adorable. So have a nice day, guys. And I will give you another update in a couple of days, hopefully. Bye.